What's up guys, Vizzy here and welcome to my FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Player Predictions and this is where I choose 3 players, make my own FIFA 15 card, customise it and see how much they, their card should be changed and then we're looking for how they did in the previous season, the amount of goals, amount of passes, amount of assists and see how they should be upgraded down with kept the same in the next FIFA 15 instalment. So let's go. Uh, my first player for this is going to be for the one and only Marco Royce, possibly one of my most favourite players in the entire game. His pace is amazing, his shot is insane with the four Oscar moves and he's been doing very well for Borussia Dortmund this year as well, picking himself 21 goals and 15 assists in 35 appearances. And also he has been doing very well for the German national team as well, but unfortunately he did get an injury before the World Cup so he wasn't taking part in it, but he is still a great player nonetheless. So for that I'm going to be upgrading his speed by 2, his shot by 3, is passing by three, is dribbling by two, defending by one, and heading by two. The reason why, because of his good goals, he's, he deserves a shot upgrade and a bit pace just to make a bit more overpowered because we all love him. He's always going to be upgraded by three because I believe that when Lewandowski lose, uh, I mean when Lewandowski goes to the main rivals by Munich, but well, probably not the main rivals, but for contenders, they are the main rivals. And I believe that Royce is going to be one of the only main man for them. He's gonna he's gonna be definitely the main man so I believe that his rating should be higher and it should be an 88 at least or possibly 87. And after we go through the stats we will go through the generations of the players. So basically we're gonna be doing the informs, man of the matches, team of the seasons and team of the years just to take a look at what I think that they may look like. Now of course these aren't official, these are just my representations of it and what I think that they may look like or what I like them to look like. And if, of course, they look very nice from Marco Royce, he's a very nice card, and that team of the year looks absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. And when I man of the matches as a striker, that'd be amazing, but of course, we can always just wish and hopefully he gets a striker one day. But yeah, let's get into next player. Uh, my next player is going to be for Luis Suarez, and he's going to be upgraded by four because, never mind from his always antics, he has had a class season for Liverpool. He has played 37 games scoring 35 goals and 12 assists which that basically means that he's almost scored a goal per game but that means that he has also contributed in each game that he played um, statistically so basically he, if, if, if fucking Falcao was a 90 then Suarez should be a 90 or higher most definitely so if Suarez is not like a good about like 3 or not three or four. If, he, if he's not like an 89 or 90 then something's definitely not right but yeah Let's get into his future cards. And here is my Suarez generations of Luis Suarez. And I may also add in that this is before he has officially, or he may not even even sign for Barcelona. But right now it's month to time, he is still a Liverpool player. So I'm still gonna count him as a Liverpool player, Liverpool badge and everything. But yeah, the, his cards look very nice, especially the team of year, man of the match. And yeah, let's get into the next player. And to end it off, we are going to be doing the one and only Ballon d'Or winner, Cristiano Ronaldo. And this is because of his amazing season for Real Madrid. He's played 47 games and 51 goals. And he isn't even their main target, man. He isn't even the main striker. He plays at the wings, of course, of specifically at left wing. And he's just such a tank. Ballon d'Or winner. I believe that he should be the same rating as Messi, at least, because apparently it is, it is speculated that Messi, in this contract as he's a cover star, that he should be always the highest rated player in the game. So I do believe that Ronaldo should be same as him as 94 because they are both amazing players. But yeah, his shot should be increased by two at least because he's just been so on form this year, especially for for country as well. Because we all, we all remember the Sweden versus Portugal game that he dragged his country Portugal to the World Cup, which unfortunately unfortunately they didn't do that well. But let's get into his other cards. And now we are going to be going on to the Ronaldo generations, and that team of the year looks so damn fine. And what a team season! Well, it probably won't be like that, but I thought you know, might as well switch it on, bring something a bit new in, like you know, half t half normal card, half team season, even though the colours are specifically the same. But I thought it would be, just be something a bit new, to be honest. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I do enjoy doing this. It takes me a long time to do these sort of videos, to do the gra to do the graphics, because it honestly, for each card, it probably takes like half an hour to do a single one to change around all the colours and lettering and all that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is Vincent. I'll see you next time.